Hi you guys, welcome back. And of course, if you are new to this channel, welcome. My name is Tracy Erickson, and this is Meaningful Motivations with Tracy Erickson. So if you have not yet subscribed to this channel, go ahead and click subscribe down below and turn on the notifications bell if you want to be notified each and every time I upload a new video. Today's video is going to be all about your fingerprints and what your specific style of fingerprints might actually say about you. So stay tuned. If you've been watching this channel for some time now, then you already know that I believe our physical bodies are a reflection of our inner essence. So the moles upon your body, for instance, can be seen as constellations just on your body, and they can actually reveal some things about you. It is no different with palmistry. I've been interested in palmistry for such a long time. I actually know someone who is a very gifted palm reader, and I've hired her on multiple occasions for palmistry parties in my home with different groups of people. And each group of people that I've had over to get palm readings with my palm reader friend, they are always surprised by what she can actually see about them simply by looking at the lines on their hands. So far, the only knowledge that I actually have about palm reading is what I've gathered from my own personal palm readings and conversations with my friend who reads palms um, and my own personal research into the lines in my own hand. So this is a skill that I'm just kind of building within myself just out of my own curiosity and so I thought I'd share some things with you guys that I have been learning uh, about palm reading. Before we get into it, this video is sponsored by me and Tracy's Apothecary on Etsy. Today's featured product is the Dream Weaver Room Spray with Amethyst, which pairs perfectly with the Dream Weaver Roller with the Amethyst. If you want to remember your dreams, it helps to set the mood. The Dream Weaver Room Spray from Tracy's Apothecary is an all-natural room spray to promote restful sleep and to help you to remember your dreams. The Dream Weaver Essential Oil Blend from Tracy's Apothecary is made with valerian, rosemary, lavender, and jasmine and is designed to relax the central nervous system, calm the mind, body, and soul, to promote restful sleep, and to improve dream recall. This room spray also includes amethyst crystals to open your mind to spiritual wisdom and enhance psychic abilities such as dream recall. The Dream Weaver Room Spray pairs perfectly with the Dream Weaver Roller to enhance the overall dream experience. The Dream Weaver Room Spray with Amethyst is produced in a sound bath of high vibration healing music in an environment which is cleansed using the smoke of white sage and purified using the smoke of Palo Santo each day. Before this product is sent to you, it will be charged with Reiki by me with strong intentions for the highest good of all concerned. I hope you enjoy the Dreamweaver Room Spray with Amethyst as much as I have enjoyed creating it for you.
So I'm going to zone in on fingerprints in this particular video. And since this is not something that I'm particularly an expert in, I'm actually just going to bring you guys along on my learning journey here. In today's video, I'll be using two different references to kind of expand our knowledge on what fingerprints and different styles of fingerprints could mean about you and your personality. So one reference we'll be using are the palmistry cards. I received these as a gift from my mom uh, for Christmas. And they're kind of like flashcards, but for palmistry. So these actually are kind of like a little teacher of mine. And we will also be using this book, Palmistry, Your Personal Guide. And so those are the two references that I will be using in today's video about fingerprints. According to the palmistry cards that I will be using today, the fingerprints have four different styles. And those four styles, if you can see them here, actually, let me just go ahead and put the image on the screen for you guys. So the four styles of fingerprints, according to this card, are the wave, the tent, the comet, and the whirlpool. And according to this deck, each of these four types of fingerprints that you see here have a different type of life path connected to them. So we have the wave, which is connected to the life path of responsibility. We have the tent connected to the life path of courage. We have the comet, which is connected to the life path of the heart and the whirlpool connected with the life path of teacher. So I'll be going through each of those different meanings with you guys here in just a minute. But I also want to go to the book here because according to the book, there are six different types of fingerprints that we should look at. So look at your fingerprints and see if they match up with any of these styles. According to the book, we have, according to the book, we have the loop, the arc or straight lines. We have the tented arc, the whirl, the peacock's eye, and the composite patterns. Before we get into the fingerprints, I just want to give you guys a quick lesson on the fingers themselves. So in palmistry, the different sections of the hand have different planets associated with them. So in some of these descriptions, you will see like the finger of Jupiter or the finger of Apollo. And so those names are referring to specific fingers. So, we have the finger of Jupiter as your index finger or the pointer finger. The finger of Saturn is your middle finger, so the second finger. And the third finger, your ring finger, is the finger of Apollo. And then finally your pinky, the small finger, is the finger of Mercury. So, <laughs> as you hear these descriptions, you might also want to refer to those fingers to see, you know, where the different fingerprints are on your hand and which finger they are associating with. So Jupiter is the pointer finger, Saturn is the middle finger, Apollo is the ring finger, and Mercury is your pinky finger. So the first type of fingerprint that we'll be talking about today is the wave. And this is what the wave looks like. And in the book, this one is similar to the arc or straight lines. So we can call it the wave or the arc or straight lines type of fingerprint. And according to the card, the wave is a life path of responsibility. So your life path is to be a responsible person and the duties that are given to you or that you take yourself. You will become a strong person by being productive and working hard. Those that have this life path have difficulty feeling inner peace. They get restless easily if they are not self-disciplined. Even if you have difficulties, you will be able to deal with life easily and stay calm if you take pride in your work and do it well. 
Also, being in nature makes you feel relaxed. Walking through a forest, working outdoors, or even working in a garden will make you feel happy and fulfilled. So that is what it has to say about the wave in the card. Now let's go on over to the book and see what it has to say about the arc or straight lines, which is the same fingerprint style as the wave. An arc or rows of straight lines across the fingertip are common features, but they rarely show up on all the fingers at once. The arc belongs to a hardworking person who lacks confidence. When on the Jupiter finger or the thumb, this demonstrates a difficult start in life and a family that didn't give the subject any opportunity to develop self-esteem. And the next fingerprint we will be talking about is the comet, according to the palmistry cards. And in the book, it is called the loop. So we can call this one the comet or the loop. And according to the palmistry card, the comet fingerprint has the life path of the heart. And it says, your life path is to put your heart into everything that you do. You are happy when you can express your feelings and your dreams. The things that you do the best are the things that you could put your heart and imagination into. Always let others know how you are feeling. If you hide your emotions, life will be very difficult. Also, you may enjoy writing because it's a good way for you to bring out your imagination. Those with the heart path tend to be emotional people. Being an emotionally driven person is not a problem, but people on this path worry that if they express their love and feelings for others, they will be rejected. This is rarely how others react. So have the courage to show your feelings and express your love without fear. It takes strength to be loving and honest. So be strong. So that is some good advice for all of you comment or loop people out there. So now let's go on over to the book and see what the book has to say about the loop style of fingerprint. The loop is the most common type of fingerprint and it belongs to someone who likes novelty and enjoys the company of others. Loops are called ulna loops when they enter the finger from the outer side of the hand and radial loops when they enter from the thumb side. Ulna loops are common, while radial loops are less common, and they usually occur on the Jupiter finger or sometimes on the Saturn finger. A radial loop on Jupiter suggests leadership qualities, while a radial loop on Saturn indicates an ability to work with one's hands, perhaps as a carpenter, metal worker, jeweler, dressmaker, musician, or craftsman. The next type of fingerprint we'll be talking about is the tent, according to the card. Here's what the tent looks like. And according to the book, the tent is called the Tented Ark. So it's still a very similar name. So according to the palmistry cards, if you have the tent or the Tented Ark as a common fingerprint style on your hands, your life path is of courage. Your life path is to always be a go-getter. This means that if you are an enthusiastic person, things will always work out for you. You have the ability to start projects on your own and make things happen. Always remember that things will not go your way if you lack determination or do not take action. You also have the ability to motivate and inspire people. You could organize a large meeting, a protest march, or a charity drive. This life path provides a special ability to develop the qualities of courage and bravery. So whether in physical or intellectual activities, never hesitate to take a stand and to act boldly. So now let's go on over to the book and see what the book has to say about the tented arc. The tented arc suggests the person goes over the top in some area of his life. And if it's on the Jupiter finger, this suggests fanaticism about a cause or some type of ideology. 
dented arches can be seen on the hands of those who fall in love and then hang on when the relationship is clearly over. This is especially so when this arc is on Apollo or Mercury. And the last of the types of fingerprints on the cards is the whirlpool. Here's what the whirlpool looks like. And according to the book, this one's just called the whirl. So according to the cards, the whirlpool or the whirl fingerprint style has the life path of the teacher. Your life path is to help others to learn. This means when you are good at something, you should share it or teach it to others. For example, if you enjoy playing a sport, you should teach others how to play it. If you write a story, you should end it with a message. You are good at coming up with new ideas and sharing them. You like it when people come to you for advice, but you can become upset when they don't listen. This should not discourage you from helping others to learn. In past ages, those with this life path always held various positions as advisors to kings and queens. You are on the planet to acquire knowledge in order to eventually give guidance and direction to society. So now let's go over to the book and see what the book has to say about the whirl. A whirl on any finger indicates a measure of talent in the area of life related to the finger, while whirls on all eight fingers and both thumbs would belong to someone who is very successful or someone who was born with a silver spoon in his mouth and never needs to make an effort in life. A whirl on the Jupiter finger denotes independence, determination, a go-getter attitude, and possibly selfishness. On Saturn, it can indicate talent in some practical field, while on Apollo, it denotes artistic ability. On Mercury, it suggests communication skills. The next fingerprint from the book is the peacock's eye. And it says, this is a combination of a loop and a whirl, and it is somewhat unusual of a fingerprint. It usually appears on the Apollo finger, suggesting artistic or musical talent, but it can also indicate a talent for homemaking, crafting, or gardening. If on Mercury, it denotes a talent for public speaking and writing. This person may also be an excellent counselor, nurse, or care assistant. A peacock's eye on the Saturn finger shows talent in a practical field such as technical drawing, carpentry, building, or civil engineering. And the last type of fingerprint to share with you is the composite patterns. And in the book it says, this may refer to a double loop or a double whirl, both of which are uncommon patterns that are rarely seen on more than one or two fingers at the same time. This person might find it hard to make decisions because both logic and intuition operate at the same time. And this can confuse an issue. It is useful, however, for those who work in the psychic sciences because it shows an ability to deal with spiritual or psychic matters as well as practical ones. My fingerprints. I have mostly loops on my fingers, except on my right thumb, I have a peacock's eye. On my right, uh, which one was this again? The finger of Saturn? No, Apollo. <laughs> on the finger of Apollo, I have on this one, a whirl. And on my left hand, the finger of Apollo has the peacock eye. But the rest of my fingertips are just loops. So comment below what kind of fingerprints do you have and does it kind of line up with the descriptions that were given in this video? Well, that about wraps it up for this video. So if you like this video, be sure to click that like button and share this video with all your friends out there. 
And of course, if you're a viewer but not yet a subscriber, I would just love for you to click subscribe down below. And once you have subscribed, you can click that notifications bell if you would like to be notified each and every time I upload a new video. Thank you guys so much for watching and spending your time with me. I love you and I'll see you next time. Bye.